Sheriff, I've been framed. I tell you, I was framed. Down this dusty road, there's a town called Belmont, Nevada. Now it's a ghost town, and we're headed there now. So hop on board, and you're going to enjoy this ride. Behind me is the old combination mill. It operated in the late 1800s. This is where they would process all the ore. So let's take a closer look of it. You guys want to see this? Come on, let's go. Come on in. Let's check out what's in here. It's like a big oven. It's cool. All right. Let's, uh, Got to be careful when you're poking around. But a lot of the snakes like to go in there. And you always want to check it out before you stick your head in there. So you guys want to go up and check out that, that uh, smokestack? Let's get a closer look at that. Come on. You're not going to get a much closer look than the smokestack that I just provided for you. All right, so let's make our way down and talk a little bit about Belmont. You know, it's uh, not unlike uh, a lot of your typical gold and silver mining towns. Early 1900s, late 1800s, you know, they, they had their day. They were booming silver and gold. And, uh, oh, I almost fell down there. But once they uh once the money went out the towns dried up people left now there's a few people left here today maybe a few hundred hanging around and uh we're gonna go into town see what structures are left there and uh see what belmont has to offer i do hear they've got a bar it's called dirty dick saloon so and i happen to know it is open today Spoiler alert, I passed it on the way in. So we're definitely gonna wrap up there and check out Dirty Dicks. All right. One good thing about Belmont, Nevada, is they have a camping ground nearby. So if you decided you want to come out and do a little ghost town hunting, spend the night, pack your tent, pack your provisions, and uh, you can check this place out, man. So if you're ever out this way, this is an option. We're gonna uh, drive around a little bit, kind of give you a view of the camping ground. All right, so stick around.
right, one of the points of interest here in uh, Belmont is the old courthouse. Now, it operated according to this sign here, this placard, said from 1876 to 1905. So basically, for about 30 years, uh, you got into trouble in this town. This is where they sent you. I think there's a jail out back. Let's take a look. So it looks like you can see here they've done a really good job of trying to keep this structure intact by reinforcing these walls here so they don't collapse. You know, don't forget these things have been around for 150 years and uh, it takes some effort to preserve them. Sheriff, I've been framed. I tell you, I was framed. Anyway, this is a pretty, this is like a hot box. You wrapped it up back in those days. You went, you found yourself inside one of these bad boys. Now, it's only. Middle of the day right now, and it's about 95 degrees, and I'm, I'm dying in here. I don't know how people survived in a hot box like that. So here you go. Here's the bedding. This looks like this, this cell held four people. The most current resident of this jail cell. <laughs> now, I'd love to show you the inside of this place, but it's obviously closed for restoration. As you can see when we showed you around back there. Maybe we can see what I can see. Nope, I got a... So there you go. That's inside the courthouse right now. Yeah, I don't know if you've ever seen a uh, guy called Bolden Bankrupt, but he does remnants of the old Soviet Union. He visits these places. This channel does something similar, but we just kind of do the old west. Remnants of the old west. So we like going to these kind of remote places, places you might not necessarily see on your own. But check it out, Belmont. We'll give you a closer look. trip to a ghost town would be complete without a uh, trip to the cemetery. Now, I don't always film cemeteries because some of them are just not, you know, just they're just really run down, dilapidated. But this one looks like a pretty cool one. So let's take a quick look inside. See what we can uh, find out. All right. Let's take a walk. All right. Let's go here. Let's see who is buried here. like uh, memory of Francis Hubbard. Uh, I can't tell the date there. It looks like 18, uh, I, can't, I can't make out that date. 1886 maybe? I don't know. Let's see here. Some of these uh, Grave areas are dilapidated, haven't been taken care of, neglected, but others are in much better shape. Let's see here. What we got here? Let's go up here. Let's check this one out here. Person died in 1882. They were 51 years old. Now I tell you, that's that's a full life back then. Those were hard times, and people didn't live, you know, beyond their 50s or 60s. Very few did. So this person actually, uh, Ellen Thomason, she made it that long. All right, let's see what else we got over here. smaller ones here. This person was born in 1869, died in 1921. All right. Okay. So, enough of the cemetery. Let's get into uh, the heart of Belmont, see what else we can find. So as you can see, some of these are some of the remnants left over from Belmont from back in the old early 1900s, late 1800s. Some of the structures that are still that kind of Populate Main Street, Belmont, Nevada. The old Belmont Courier. Great stuff. So apparently,
if you want to get the ghost town wedding experience going they do that for you here check it out that would be cool that would be unique for sure so i hope you're enjoying belmont nevada enjoying the ghost town experience we give you here on the channel if you like the video hit the like button so we'll poke around a little bit more and then we're gonna head to the bar dirty dicks i'm looking forward to this place hope it lives up to its reputation all right so anna you ready to go dirty dicks Absolutely. all right let's go Well, we hope you enjoyed your adventure with us uh, into Belmont, Nevada, this ghost town. We, uh, we kind of enjoyed it. If you did, like, hit the like button. I may have mentioned that already, but hit it again if you haven't hit it. So uh, we're going to finish off with a course. Uh, limited choices out here on the prairie. Uh, but uh, it's been a great day. Uh, but we're parched and we're tired. And, but that's all we have for this video. Cheers from Beers and Frontiers.